Hi everyone, it's me Maddie and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Maddie and I post bookish related content on this channel every single Monday. So if it's not something you would enjoy, make sure you subscribe. That intro is like such a mouthful and like I stumble over it so much I feel like I'm just like mumbling it all the time, but hi. So, uh, we're in a different setup. You can see my bed, you can see the edge of my desk, which is kind of dirty, so just ignore it. Um, because I was too lazy to get the tripod and set up my tripod, okay? Because it just takes so much more time than I want to spend on it. Because I, I think one of the legs is shorter than all the others. And so then you've got to, like, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but, you know, if you know math, then you know that if they're not all equal, it's going to look weird. Um, anyway, we're getting off track. <laughs> so today we are here to film one of my favorite and also possibly least favorite videos of the year, um, or the month, not the year, of the month, and that is my January TBR. So yes, I filmed this so many times and I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm so sorry I filmed this video so many times. I just wanted it to be done. Look what happened to my cookie. <laughs> I mean, it's not a good cookie. That's why I've owned it for two years almost. February uh, 9th, it'll be two years. Um, but I still don't want it to be broken. Um, but yeah, so I filmed this so many times. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. Uh, but let's talk about the books I had to read in December. I feel like every time I say, I'm like, every time I film these videos, you have to have the sentence. I filmed this so many times. Let's talk about what I had to read the previous month. Um, so yes, I had to read these three books. Um, I had to read Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo, the fourth Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and Maya and the Rising Dark. And out of these three, this is the one I did not read. I really should sit down for this, but I don't want to. Uh, yeah, so you might recall that I was super, super excited to get to this. And I never got to it. But, like, don't be surprised because it's me. And if I have, if I get to at least two out of the three books, that's a 66.66666, which is an F. But, but... It's better than only reading one of them. Uh, so yeah, even though I was really excited to get to this book in December, I didn't get to it in December, and we're not surprised. I will eventually read this. I want to read uh, all of Lee Bardugo's books this year and finally decide whether or not this girl is for me. Um, but... We're, I, we're, She's going to have to wait a few more months. Uh, but I did read both of these. So if you would like to see my opinions on these books, spoiler alert, I loved one, hated the other. Uh, but if you would like to see my opinions on these, then next week I am posting my December uh, wrap-up, which has like nine, maybe ten books. I'm the, December's not even over yet. Uh, so it could have ten books on it, but it definitely has nine. I am literally blown away by the fact I read nine to maybe 10 books in December. That is my best ever reading month, guys. Like, be proud of me. Um, but yes, so if you want to hear, like I said, you want to hear my thoughts, subscribe, hang out till next week for my wrap up, which is probably going to be way too long because I can't shut my mouth. But if you're not, if you're new to my channel, uh, you'll find out real quick that that is nothing new, nothing new at all. Um, so, yes. Now that we have those taken care of, let's jump into the rolls for January. So I have my little counter here on the last space we ended on. I do believe it was a house. Um, and I got my die. So here we go with roll number one, four. One, two, three, four. Hold on. One, two, three. Yeah, all right. So I have to add a book to my TBR. So now instead of three books, I have four. But let's go over here and let's pick. Let's just go off the top. I never know which to pick, but we'll go off the top. So, um, two, a pair. That's an A. A pair of two. So read a sequel. All right. That's simple enough. 
Alright, so for the first roll, we got a pair of two, which is to read a sequel. And for this, I am putting Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on this list. Um, this is the fifth Harry Potter book. I'm doing a reading vlog where I'm reading all the Harry Potter books, and that will be out sometime as soon as I finish all of the books. I did not think I was going to read the first four in December, and yet, yet I did. So... There's that. Um, but yeah, this is the fifth Harry Potter book. I read the first four in January. I, for some reason, I'm trying to get through all of them. I was, I wanted to read all of them in December. Uh, and then I got to, or I got to the fourth book and it was so long and so boring that I was like, no, you can't, you can't do it anymore. Um, so yeah, but this is the fifth book. I don't think I'm going to finish this by the end of December. I might. But I don't think I'm going to. And if I do, then I'll put the sixth book on here. But I really think it's a safer bet to say I'm not going to finish this by the end of December. Because it's kind of boring at the beginning. Uh, and I've heard this is like the most boring out of all of them. So that scares me. Because I thought the fourth one was really boring. Yikes. Um, but yeah, this is the fifth Harry Potter. If you don't know Harry Potter about, it's about Harry Potter whose parents were killed and... I never explained the synopsis of books in my rap in my uh, TBR. So, if you came here for recommendations, wait till next week when I do my wrap up. Hey, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's get on to roll number two. Okay, so for roll number two, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm doing this through my phone camera, so. Hopefully it's not wonky. Um, okay. Do I go off the top again? Fine. Um, sleepover. Friend pick. Okay. Okay. Crap, I just got rid of my friends. All right, so for roll number two, we got Sleepover, which is a friend pick. I was so excited for this. Um, and this is basically, I just have a friend pick the book I read. And so I went over on to my phone. My phone, my phone. I completely forgot to grab everything um <laughs> but I went over on Instagram and I asked my friend Taylor who I used to go to school with to pick a book I um gave her four choices I gave her The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, uh, The Mighty Heart of Sunny St. James by Ashley Herring Blake, Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim, and The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss to pick from. I sent her this type of photo, and then I sent her a photo of each of the synopsises. Synopsises? Synopsis. Synopsis. Synopsises. Um, and she has graciously come back with a response, and her response was <clears throat> The Mighty Heart of Sunny St. James by Ashley Herring Blake. I am so freaking excited to read this book. I read Ashley's uh, debut into middle grade in uh, August of last year and I freaking adored this. I adored the first book so I have very high hopes for the second for this this book right here. Now it's not a sequel or anything but I'm very excited to read this book. This is a lot thicker or at least it looks a lot thicker than the first one. I don't think it's that much thicker. Um, let me see if I can find a page count. Here we go. Um, it's only 375. Okay, it's like 75 pages. I, I think it's like 75 pages bigger than the last one, but I'm very excited for this one. Um, I'm so excited to see Sunny and like Quinn um, because I loved Ivy and June in the first book, so I'm very excited with this. And this deals with hearts. Harsh? No. Heart transplants, I believe. Um, and I'm just excited. I cannot wait to cry and bawl my eyes out because Ashley, girl, can I count on Ashley for that? So thank you so much, Taylor, for picking this book because I wanted to read it this month and she came through. So like I said, Taylor, thank you. Thank you so much. Roll number three. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're going off the top. Pick a pet. Pick a pick a pet. Okay, 
well, I read that in the opposite direction, but okay. Uh, pick a pet, pet pick. So I go and I let a dog pick the book I read. Simple enough. Um, and we're going to let Oso pick first. And so for Oso, I am letting him pick between Arusha and the End of Time by Roshni Choshni. I'm so sorry, I butchered that. And When Life Gives You Mangoes by Corrine Geddon. This is a very short middle grade. It's only, it's under 200 pages. And this is one that I could read with my granny. So I'm crying. I'm like going to have a middle grade full month and I'm very excited for that so I don't know what it's gonna pick yet <laughs> so let's just uh oh so <laughs> come in for me buddy please please come in for me buddy because I yeah thank you buddy please okay so this will be Aru and this will be the other one okay oh so Okay, Amber, you can come first. Pick one. Pick one. This isn't working. Oops. Pick one. Okay, you pick Aru. <laughs> okay, good job, bud. Here, eat that one. All right, so. Oh, so picked Arusha. Yeah, I plan on doing both dogs, but then I thought that my granny and I were going to read Dorothy Must Die, but then she couldn't get Dorothy Must Die, therefore we're not going to read Dorothy Must Die, so then we're not going to do both dogs because of the books I had Amber pick, but she picked the one that was the sequel to Dorothy Must Die because I'm not going to read Dorothy Must Die and the sequel in this month. It's just not going to work, so we're only going to do Oso, and he picked Arusha, so Arusha has been added to the TBR. And let's get on to the third roll. I don't have me a clip of me saying that, uh, so voiceover Maddie gets to say it. All right, and then for roll number four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Payday! which is just this little card, which means I basically don't have to fit a prompt at all. Whoop, whoop, whoa! So I'm a little, I'm, going, I'm filming this a little bit out of order, but for the last and final prompt, we got a payday card, which basically means I don't have to fit any prompts whatsoever. But when I told my mom that I had a friend pick on my TBR, she was like, well, I could do it, because I told her I didn't have any friends. Um, uh, well, I have a few friends, but I told her I didn't really have too many friends to pick from like when I wrote that prompt I had a few friends in mind but I don't I'm not friends with them anymore so uh she was like well I can do it um and so I thought that to fit this prompt I would bring my mom in and she uh got to pick and I've already filmed that clip when I'm filming this so I will answer it right here okay mom your turn so okay right, you're good so I have four books for you to pick from I have Keeper of the Lost Cities, this one that I got for my birthday that I want to reread. I have Spin the Dawn. I have The False Prince and When Life Gives You Mangoes. You can go through and read the descriptions. Are any these aren't any of the same ones you gave Taylor, are they? No. Oh. Did you want you me to give you those? I read this one once? Yeah, I read it with Granny, but I want to reread it. I can give you the same ones I gave Taylor if you want me to. No, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. So she's going to go through and read the descriptions. And I will be back when she has a choice. Keeper of the Lost Cities. Okay, so you picked Keeper of the Lost Cities? I did, because you said you've already read it once. And I want to reread it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so my mom picked Keeper of the Last City. This is the illustrated annotated edition. I'm putting this one on my TBR. I wasn't going to read it in January, but Gavin and Jaden, no, JD, Jade, 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 no, Jaden, what's her name? It's JD Ray Reads. I don't know if her name's Jade, Ray, JD. I don't know. Either. I don't know. Right, uh, but Maybe she'll <laughs> comment and let us know. Um, but uh, they are hosting for their middle grade monthly the read along for this, and I would love to participate in the live show. So I wanted to reread this anyway, well, and I'm very I excited. Made a to good get choice, to it. then. Didn't you I? did better than the Hazelwood. So all right. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. 
So, at least we know that I'm going to have three middle grades on my TBR, um, or four. Yeah, no, I'm going to have four middle grades on my TBR and at least one fantasy. So I have five books this month, um, but I am excited and I hope all turns out well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday. And so I'll see you guys on this Monday for another video. And hey, do not forget that I'm still a freaking bulldozer. I just breathed in way too much air. I got caught in my throat that was already like needing to cough, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys all uh, next Monday for another video. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everyone.